Hey guys, welcome back to Rudder Renovation, where today we're going to learn how to chisel a hole in the brick for an outlet, or what we're going to use it for, which is some media cable. Here we go. There's a few different ways that you can put a hole in the brick. We're going to use a pneumatic air hammer, or you can use a masonry bit to put a bunch of holes to outline where the box is gonna be and then just use a regular chisel and hammer to hammer it out. So I'm gonna use the vacuum and the pneumatic chisel and let's get started. I'm gonna use a respirator because it makes a lot of dust, which is one of the reasons why we're gonna be using a vacuum. And you'll hold your box up to the wall and then we're gonna use a marker to outline it and mark where we wanna cut. After you get your box outlined on the wall, you can start removing the brick. A pneumatic chisel like this can be purchased for around $10 to $20, and if used slowly in conjunction with a vacuum, you can minimize the dust. It's amazing how much easier this project was by using the pneumatic chisel. During this process, my shop vac actually died, so if you want to know how to repair a broken shop vac, feel free to click the link. All right, now that we have the box fitting in the wall, now we can run the electrical or the cable through the attic. We've already created another hole in the brick behind the TV, so we'll run the cables over and down through the wall to where the new media cabinet that I built will be. All right, so here we are at the back side of the chimney. We have the power coming in here, and we have our media coming out here. So we're gonna take the media, which is a HDMI, an audio cable, and a fiber optic, and we're gonna pull it here. And our hole is right down there. You see where that light is? I have a flashlight in the hole that I cut out. So we're gonna feed the cables down there. What I like to do is take a long rod like this and put a little electric tape at the end. Just one loop, enough that where when you pull the cables through, it'll pull off. And then I'll use the stick to push it down to the hole. Electrical wire is more rigid and easier to feed down a wall without the assistance of a rod. And even though media cables might be able to be fed down a wall without insulation, using a rod will save you both time and frustration. And as you feed the cables down, make sure that the cables stay attached to the rod. And if you're concerned about them getting damaged, you can always wrap their ends. During this process, it might be helpful to have someone in the room in order to tell you when they see the cables come into view. Once the cables are in reach, you can go ahead and pull them through. Now that you have your hole in the brick and your cable pulled through, you can mark on your box where you'll be drilling into the mortar to hold it secure. If you don't have a hammer drill, you'll definitely want to make sure your box is located near the mortar so you can drill out and attach anchors for the box. Once you drill the holes in the box, you can proceed to drilling into the mortar so you can install your anchors. When your anchors are installed, and you have your corresponding holes drilled into the box, you can insert your wires through the box and then secure the box to the wall. Now the screws on this particular plate didn't match up with the box, but it's going to be behind furniture and it doesn't involve electricity, so I just used the top screw. After I had it installed, I did a test fit for the new media center, and if you'd like to see the finished product and how to build a built-in, feel free to click the link. All right, now that we have all our cables run through and our media hooked up, we'll be good to go. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.